Recently, we have seen a dramatic growth in public exposure to AI tools with the release of OpenAI's rendition of ChatGPT for free. The exposure to these AI language tools have been incredible. People all over the world have began playing with it and looking for a wide range of uses. AI like this has been around for some time, though often hidden behind very narrowly focused versions. For example, we had versions dedicated to play perfect chess and then games like Go and Diplomacy or Poker. We had tools to generate images, modify grammar, or write research papers, but under very specific conditions. Nothing compares to the exposure of AI's ChatGPT, however, and this has been further pushed into the public's view with reports of bias, Microsoft's investment into Bing, and Elon Musk's letter to pause AI development. Every day, we see new reports on how people are using and abusing these AI chats. And one of the most vulnerable areas is when they're doing assessments. For students, assessment can mean a make or break for their futures, which leads many to consider cheating. When tools like AI chat are easily accessible and hard to detect, students might gravitate towards their use. Here are five ways to use AI as a student without compromising academic integrity. One excellent way to use AI is to ask it for ideas or inspiration for assignments. If you provide the subject matter to the AI tool, the AI can provide suggestions or an outline to help students who might feel a little stuck at the beginning of their writing. Of course, it's always important to verify that the information is in line with the assignment guidelines. Generally, getting ideas or outlines from an AI tool is not considered academic dishonesty because you're not plagiarizing. You're not copying the work of someone else. You're still developing your own content. Although we have a lot of tools for checking grammar and spelling, such as Word's Spell Checker, the new AI tools provide a more interactive way to improve your writing. Giving a passage to the AI and asking it to suggest corrections is a great way to interact with the AI. This can help students improve their writing skills and avoid common mistakes. Of course, it's important again to always make sure that the AI is doing things correctly. AIs can make errors and they should never be relied on completely for any task. AI is surprisingly good at creative writing. Many people assume that AI would be poor at creative tasks and good for non-creative works, but we've seen just the opposite. If you have a creative project, AI can provide a lot of inspiration for those kinds of projects and help you flesh out ideas. Since the AI sometimes makes mistakes or contains biased responses, creative writing is a great way to use AI without the stress of getting something wrong. One area that students often have difficulty is with studying for tests. Students often have difficulty creating practice tests for themselves, and AI can really help with this. When you have a test, ask AI to create some sample questions by providing the subject matter and the type of exam to the AI. Taking tests in this way can help you identify things that you need to study. You can even ask the AI to evaluate your answers and find holes in your thinking or your logic. Sometimes when students are asked to make a presentation on a topic, they have to deal with the dreaded Q&A. AI can help you by behaving as an audience member or an interviewer. The AI can ask you questions, you respond, and then the AI can evaluate your answers based on the particular circumstances of that interview or the QA period. You could even paste a job advertisement, ask them to conduct a mock interview for a specific job. This is a great resource to prepare yourself for some of the higher stress situations like interviews or question and answer periods. AIs can be very powerful to help students improve their skills inside and outside the school. But we always need to be aware of the line between academic honesty and academic dishonesty. It's better to always avoid copying, pasting anything that the AI produces, as this might cross the line into academic dishonesty. Still, there are many ways to use AI, and even more than I mentioned here. If you have other ideas, be sure to let me know in the comments below. See you next time.